What is up, good people? I actually have a place to be or something to do at a certain time, and I was actually going to park and do this because I know people don't want to see me driving and all that. So, but anyway, I want to make a, a a plea for an urgent, as an urgent message to men, an urgent message to men about what is going on in this day and in this time. Um, I often, often, if you've been following me for, for any length of time get pushback about the type of ladies that when we say are ratchet, ghetto, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, you know, we, we, I often get pushback about that. You know, you're, you're, you're dealing with the, with the wrong type of woman and this, that, and the other, right? Okay. So I'm going to play two videos right now, back to back. One, uh, is representative Mace, Mace, Mace. I can't remember how to spell it, say or spell her name from South Carolina. The other one is a PhD, Crystal Hayes, I believe, um, and they're going to talk about, and well, Mace is going to talk about her interaction with Michael Eric Dyson, and then May, Crystal Mace, uh, Crystal Hayes is going to talk about that. So let me, let me play this, and then we'll get back to it disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just that said that you weren't a racist. Yes, that is complete no, You don't yes. have to intend racism no, to No, no, no. You are it. intending that Your I am racist. Your disrespect of Kamala and Harris that is, is part and parcel of a tradition. Why can't you just disrespect? It's offensive and it's offensive and it's Why can't you just, 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 why I don't know. Were those text messages flirty to Nancy Mace? I think so. Should men send sexy, flirty text messages to the women that they work with? Absolutely not. If you're new here, my name is Dr. C. I hold a bachelor's degree in politics and African-American studies, a master's degree in social work, and a PhD in social work. But that is simply what I do. It's not who I am. Who I am is somebody deeply committed to dismantling white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. So when I woke up this morning and I saw the text messages that Michael Eric Dyson said to Nancy Mays, my first mind was men should never send text messages like that to women that they work with. Are they co-workers in the traditional sense? No, but they are co-workers in that they are two professional people who share their political views and commentary at CNN together. Add to that the political discord that happened between the two of them recently where he implied that she was being racist by not pronouncing uh, VP Harris's name correctly. They are consenting adults, but I want to emphasize they also work together. So we should be very careful and very clear about what that boundary looks like. Women every day, all day, have to sort of navigate and negotiate this fine line between themselves and the men that they work with. Did, my, did Michael Eric Dyson get caught doing something inappropriate? I don't know. Were those text messages flirty to Nancy Mace? I think so. Should men send sexy, flirty text messages to the women that they work with? Absolutely not. If you're new here, my name is Dr. C. I hold a bachelor's degree in politics and African-American studies, a master's degree in social work, and a PhD in social work. But that is simply what I do. It's not who I am. Who I am is somebody deeply committed to dismantling white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. So when I woke up this morning and I saw the text messages that Michael Eric Dyson said to Nancy Mays, my first mind was men should never send text messages like that to women that they work with. Are they co-workers in the traditional sense no but they are co-workers in that they are two professional people who share their political views and commentary at cnn together add to that the political discord that happened between the two of them recently where he implied that she was being racist by not pronouncing uh, vp harris's name correctly they are consenting adults, but I want to emphasize they also work together. So we should be very careful and very clear about what that boundary looks like. Women every day, all day have to sort of navigate and negotiate this fine line between themselves and the men that they work. Did my uh, chair recognizes the gentle lady from South Carolina, Miss Mace. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my colleagues across the aisle said that those that, that cannot pronounce Kamala's name correctly are elementary aged children. I would like to enter into the record an article by Newsweek saying Bill Clinton pronounces Kamala Harris' name wrong during DNC speech. Bill Clinton, along with Al Sharpton, rapper Lil Jon, let's not forget that Joe Biden can't say her name right, neither can Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, and this morning on Morning Joe, Joan Bias called her a camel. So I don't want to hear it. It's fake outrage. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says order. I'm gorgeous and all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. Uh, on to the issue at hand. I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for our witness is being here today. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have presided over the worst presidential administration in American history. Biden and Kamala. All right, so we're back. So as you can see, I played all, you know, three clips instead of two, right? So I played Mace, the interaction that they had with Michael Eric Dyson and yada, yada. And of course I played Hayes. So Michael Eric Dyson, is a man who is, you know, well-rounded, well-spoken, highly educated, big, big vocabulary, uses big words all the time, all this kind of stuff, right? Um, so he's, you know, I don't know, if he, I guess he's married. If you look at Wikipedia, it says he's married. I don't know if he was shooting a shot at this girl or, or, or this woman or what. But here's what I really want the young men to really focus on, whether you're a 20-year-old 20, 20 guy in college, you're a 35, 40-year-old man navigating the... the the scene out here. I really want you to hear this message. I really want you to hear this message because there, there's so much takeaways from this. I'm, I took some notes and I got to find a note. So here, first lesson that you got to learn is that th th this type of behavior does not, the type of behavior of outing people, smashing, smashing car windows and pulling up and calling your job and all this kind of stuff, it doesn't come from just ratchet hood chicks. It doesn't come from just ratchet hood chicks. It doesn't just come from ratchet hood chicks hear that and that that's ratchet i'm calling ratchet hood no matter where you live and no matter what your ethnicity or cultural background is you can be ratchet and white ratchet and hispanic ratchet and asian does I'm not, I'm not saying any of that however you got to understand that this is what it is now think about what this lady did this guy whether he's married or not michael eric dyson shot his shot what he did she then goes to Congress at a hearing and, and puts the screenshots in and enters it into evidence. This is now part of a national record for eternity. Or as long as the United States exists. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? You are a red state U.S. Senate uh, representative member. Why would you do that? You think it just comes from, from you know? You think you're getting the windows busted out your car by, 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 by lower class girls who work at Wendy's or whatever? No, no, she did that. Listen, all these people who are claiming stuff about, you know. Diddy and Harvey Weinstein and all these other people. These are all college educated people doing this. I'm not, you know, I, I might address the whole situation another time, but you can you can wrap all that into Harvey Weinstein, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, uh, uh, you know, all these, uh, Matt Lauer, all these different people. You know, you think it's hush hush and quiet and all this. People are gonna keep it on the low. They ain't keeping nothing. They ain't not keeping nothing on the low. How dare this woman put that out there in a national congressional record? And then you know you got Crystal M Hayes, and I I, I played hers a couple times because I really wanted you to hear it. And if you didn't catch it, listen to it again. Her rhetoric 
men shouldn't approach women and this, that, and the other. Men shouldn't send these types of messages to people at work and this, that. Is it people that shouldn't do it or just men shouldn't do it? So is, is, it, is it okay for women to do it? Is it okay for women to send these types of messages? Or are they not as threatening because, they're, because they have double X chromosomes? I, I, I'm confused about that. The sexual harassment, so-called, goes both ways, don't it? Don't it? I mean, this is she's the social worker. You're the you're the one with the degrees and all this. Isn't that what they talk about? What are you talking? What are you saying? Man, you gotta you gotta you gotta smarten up and understand the world in which you live, how to move, how to navigate, and how to how to operate. You gotta know how to move, navigate, and operate because you got people in high places doing this to other people in high places. They don't care about your marriage, your 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 job. It could, it, this could affect your job. This could affect this. Could affect that. And I, listen, as I record this, I don't even know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody else said. Now more more stuff coming on about Michael Eric Dice. Oh, he propositioned me too. I want ten million dollars. I want this. I want that. Wouldn't wouldn't surprise me at the least. Oh yeah, he, he did this to me. He shot a shot with me. I know he's married. Listen, you got to protect yourself as a man. This is this is the world in which you live. The world in which you live. Men have already, and the, you know, when you read this stuff, right? 2017, 2016, 2018, 19, men have already said they don't want to be alone with women. They have an open door policy. They they made fun of, who was the former vice president? The dude from Indiana. Oh, what was his name? It's going gonna, it's gonna to elude me. But, you know, Trump's, Trump's vice president there, right? The former governor of Indiana. Mike Pence, the Mike Pence made, made fun of the Mike Pence rule. Uh, you know, we got don't ever do this, that, and the other. Like, no, 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 guys are doing it in CEO suites and stuff. You, and you should do it. If you guys see this, you should do it. If you're not doing it, you're a fool, right? Being alone with women, traveling with women, right? You're a fool. I see guys standing up for, oh no, it's 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 not this as long as you're doing this. As long as this, this, that, you don't have anything to worry about. Listen, do not listen to the, those guys will have you sitting in, in, in court. They will have you sitting in court defending your actions about some text message or about wanting to meet them at, for after dinner, uh, after work to dinner to discuss to discuss the things. They will have you in court talking about that, defending your actions, hiring lawyers and everybody, everybody else in the uh, uh, dragging your name through the mud. Don't listen to people who don't listen to those types of people. They are they are they are going to lead you down a path of destruction. You need to protect yourself at all times. You need you need as a man when you're entering college, when you're in while you're in college, while you you are um, while you are doing whatever you're you, you're navigating the workforce. You're doing what you you you're you're protecting yourself. You have to ask yourself before you send a text message, a flirty text message, shooting your shot because. You know, when you sit in these different um, sexual harassment type trainings, like I've had to do as a supervisor, when I was, became a supervisor in the state that I live in, it was mandatory. I think it was either once a year or every two, two years, you had to go to you had to go to this type of training, sexual harassment training. And they would tell us, you know, this, the the men they they would tell us that many times people met in the workplace. So it's so it's not uncommon to say, okay, I, listen, I, there's a there's a beautiful woman, and I want to uh, get to know her, and I'm going to uh, shoot my shot. And now the way to do that now is through is text messages, emails, et cetera. And there was an email scandal not long ago. So I'm saying if you before you send a flirty email, text message, you need to you need to ask yourself, would you be comfortable with this text message being read before Congress? Because that's what that woman did. Would this text message, would this email be would I feel comfortable with my parents reading this in a congressional hearing? on the news posted on a billboard post posted all over social media because people are screenshotting stuff now and putting it out there to humiliate people you know talk about you know there's a there's such a thing as revenge porn that's an actual that's an actual crime revenge porn the woman in particular sends a man a bunch of nude pictures they break up and the guy posts it all over the internet they they, they you can be arrested for that rightfully so i think i think that's an actual. I think there should be re revenge texting. If there's a politician. Why I think you should introduce that revenge texting. You don't. You you shouldn't have a right. She that woman should not have had the right to post 
something about that a, a guy shooting a shot. I, I would fully support that legislation. Fully support that legislation. She should not have the right to 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 post that without his. Particularly not after one time. Now, if you watch Crystal, we watch Crystal Hayes thing, right? And I'm gonna put up the screenshot about what I what I put up there, so it'll be up here coming. Because I I wrote about her. I, I I you know this this is unbalanced, biased assessment. But what you but was Dr. Hayes gave? Now she's not some big time person, but. You, you still, you got these letters behind your name. They mean something. And you put this out, you put this crap out here, unbalanced, un, uh, cri uncritical. Women can't do, women can't sexually, of course women can sexually harass men. So this isn't about, this is about men. This is about m policing men, controlling men. Men are a problem. Men are this, men are that. But yet the woman goes up there and posts a picture and posts a, and, and says it before Congress. It has nothing to do with this. And the guy's up there like, oh, yeah. yeah and and the, 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 the chairperson is like, yeah, okay, so ordered. We're going to enter into this the record. I would have been like, I would have been like, what has this got to do with this pr pronouncing the name correctly? You sat in the panel with, with him. Why are we putting this in the record? What does it have to, what does it have to do with anything? He was, he was uncritical. Himself. Just because somebody says something doesn't mean you have to do it. I'm not a member of Congress, but I, if I'm a chair, I'm like, hold on a minute. Hold, hold on a minute. Why are we putting this in the record? Why is this going in the record? This guy, is, do you have, is Michael Eric Dyson here? Can he defend himself? I he's just going to willy-nilly just enter things in a record. I'm not a member of Congress. So, so listen, you got to be, be leery. You, here's what I want you to, to take away from this. Be leery of the text messages and emails, the, the way that you shoot your shot. The way that you, uh, and, and once you shoot your shot, if she says no, it is no. Right? This is the big problem I have. Sexual harassment means the continued, repeated asking out. There's, there's other forms of a quid pro quo and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to keep it simple, right? We're just going to address you asking somebody out. If Now, I think that she would have been okay with asking him out. Uh, excuse me. Okay with outing him if he was continually doing that, right? They, and she wrote back, listen, I'm married, I'm in a relationship, whatever, don't don't talk to me, whatever, you got a husband, you got a wife, whatever's going on, don't do that. And if he does it again, okay, now you now you, now it's an issue. But just on, no, listen, uh, you know, we had a debate in this and he calls me a racist and now I'm, he shoots a shot at me, I'm gonna put this in a con congressional record. I don't even understand, I don't, what? <laughs> what? So, men, be careful about the text messages you, you send, could this be read before Congress? Could it be read before your board? Will, will this make it to social media? If you're uncomfortable with any of that, then don't do it. You don't, if you women out there, if you don't know why 60% of men have, have checked out, here's another reason, right? Um, um, you know, be careful when and how you shoot your shot. If it's no, it's no, and don't ever do it again. I would suggest not 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 shooting your shot with anybody that you work with because if it goes bad, it's going to be something. It might be thirty years, it might be twenty years later, but there, but but it'll be in the back of somebody's mind. That text message will still be there. So I would I wouldn't even take that chance. I wouldn't even take the chance. I think you ought to follow the Mike Pence rule if you're a, if you're a big time boss and CEO sitting in some company or whatever somewhere, and you ought to say to yourself, listen. No, the, the, every meeting we're gonna have is gonna be an open door meeting, and every trip that we take is gonna be you, me, and, and a couple other witnesses. And you're gonna sleep in a, another hotel. <laughs> you're gonna sleep in another, on another floor, of the, on another floor of the same, of the same floor, uh, 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 another floor of the same hotel. Absolutely, you gotta listen. If you're a guy out here, you gotta protect yourself. This was an amateur. Let me tell you something. This was an amateur move by Michael Eric Dyson, who should have known better, who's taught at numerous universities. I read over his bio a little bit. Uh, um, University of Penn, I think of Brown, two, two, two elite um, Ivy League schools. He's teaching at Vanderbilt right now, and it's simply, it's a George Washington, I think he taught at. These are big time elite schools. Middlebury in Vermont, these are big time elite schools. You tell me that you don't know, you don't know not, not not to not to crap where you eat at. That was an amateur, amateur, amateur move. I mean, if this, you know, if <laughs> the pros is NBA and all that, man. This is that was a Pee Wee League move right there, man. 
smiley face and kissy hearts well you know how much of it is true i guess we can get the record right it's gotta be public information you can get the record she put it in screenshot put the screenshot in in the record so listen man i teach at a bunch of i teach at a couple of universities online and that was the first thing they taught us about you know don't don't sexually harass the, the, the other people don't sexually harass the students <laughs> i i I, I, I'm ba I'm baffled. I'm baffled as a how and why he did this. I'm baffled as the the uncritical lens by which uh, PhD Hayes uh, analyzed this. You know, and it was just so she want and mentioning white supremacy and patriarchy. I don't even understand why you brought that up. You think that Michael Eric Dyson is part of the the, the, the white capitalistic patriarchy? What are you even talking about? All right. This is long enough. Men, just protect yourself. Just protect yourself. Think about what you're doing before you send an email, before you hit send, before you, uh, yeah, before you hit send on an email or text message, a WhatsApp message, an Instagram, or uh, uh, what is that one that disappears? Snapchat. I don't even know whatever else is out there. Before you hit send, ask yourself, would I be comfortable with my mother reading this? Would I be comfortable with my father reading this? Would I be comfortable with this being read on CNN? Would I be comfortable with this being entered into the record and congressional records? Would I be comfortable seeing this on social media trying to embarrass me? I, I would. I would. I would. I, I would be. I would be mortified. And 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 ask yourself: Is it worth it just to get a date with someone? You know, you know, I, I guess he's trying to defend himself. I'm not. I'm not even talking about the defense that he gave. It's 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 irrelevant to me. It's it's irrelevant to me. I'm talking about the perception that's out here. It's irrelevant to me what he says and whether he's really married and whether she's taken out of context and all this kind of. I, I don't know if you can take the context of with a, with a kissy face out there. And he might have been saying I haven't watched his defense to it. So um, he might have been saying that um, um. We look good as far as a debating team. Maybe that's what he meant. I don't know. It's irrelevant. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch it after this. Maybe I'll watch it after this. So, let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Listen, man, you got to protect yourself at all times. Just like a boxing ring, when they enter in, into a boxing ring, the referee's talking to them, jiu jitsu match, MMA match. Protect yourself at all times. At all times, man. Protect yourself. <laughs>